Jessica Kelly was essentially the star witness in the case against Fabian Gonzalez. KOAT legal expert John Day says that without her testimony, things just got a lot better for Gonzalez. Jessica Kelly's plea deal rejected for the second time, leaving state prosecutors with essentially no key witness in their case against Fabian Gonzalez. While it is now possible to obtain a conviction and ultimately greater time um, of incarceration for Jessica Kelly, uh, without her cooperation, uh, we do not have her testimony available in the prosecution of Fabian Gonzalez. KOAT legal expert John Day says that not having Kelly as a star witness just made it a lot easier for Gonzalez's attorneys, but getting a conviction is still possible. At this point, they're scrambling to try to put that case back together. Doesn't mean they can't do it, doesn't mean they can't convince a jury to convict these two. But in the end, they're going to have to do it without the testimony of the person that they identified as their key witness. Without Kelly's testimony, Day says it's likely Gonzalez's case will be a lot shorter. He also says that anything that Kelly may have told prosecutors in the plea deal conversations can't be used against her in trial. The prospect, the DA has the prospect of, of trying, take going to trial with the person who they initially claimed this is going to be our star witness. This is going to be the person who's testifying for the state. Now they're going to be trying the case against her. While District Attorney Raul Torres was both surprised and shocked by the judge's decision to reject the plea deal again, Day says the judge was following the law. What he was saying today was he's not going to get bullied or pushed around by a DA's office or by a defense team. And the district attorney says that they won't present any other plea deals for Jessica Kelly, so next steps for them are to focus on the trials for both Kelly and Gonzalez. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Adamas, KOAT Action 7 News.